I'm Stefan Montry. I'm sales manager at Ramen Bar AB and I'm here to talk about the Ramen Ball Sector Valve. So the Ball Sector Valve has been created in the 1960s because back then the pulp and paper industry required a good control valve for abrasive media applications. So since then it has been used for pulp and paper of course, but also mining, steel plants, chemical applications and uh, industrial gases applications and so on. The valve actually is a control valve. It has equal percentage characteristics, but can be used also as an on on valve. It has bidirectional design, so it can be used in both directions. Uh, the valve goes from the end 25 to the end 300 and comes with wafer connections, except for the end 300 for which we have uh, flange connections. We can use the material. We provide a standard stainless steel uh, 316L for the body and the ball sector. And the second standard we have is 254SMO. So 254SMO is a highly corrosive resistant material uh, that we can provide with the same delivery time uh, as stainless steel. Of course, we can provide higher grade, more exotic material such as titanium, uh, depending on the applications. In terms of frangibility, we can provide with a good actuator up to uh, 300 to 1 which is very good compared to the type of valve, such as plumb valves. And then in terms of pressure rating, depending on the sizes, we can go, we can go up to PN40. For the temperature range, we can go from minus 40 to plus 250 degrees. And then regarding the CV range, you will see the values in the screen, which is a quite wide range and especially uh, regarding the DN25, for which we talk uh, right now. So for DN25, we have different trims, as you can see here. From CV25, which is like a full board design, down to this one here, which is like a small scratch on the ball. Uh, this one is CV0.03. So depending on your application and your process information, we do the sizing and select, select the, the most appropriate trims for your applications. So let's go more in details with this uh, cross-cut ball sector valve. Uh, actually, you can see uh, much better now the valve. Uh, this is the front uh, with a seat holding ring here. So we will talk about this part in, uh, later when we talk about the different model we can provide. So this is the front and this is the back. And as you can see, this is like like a ball valve, uh, but with a ball cut in two. And this makes all the difference when we compare to other segmented valves. So what we have is that we have uh, the seat here, which is uh, here a PTF seat, but we can provide also solid slide seat, depending on the applications. We have uh, anti blowout protection here, and two O-rings for the ceiling to the atmosphere. One here, one here. Uh, this, this is a sliding ring here in white. Uh, the purpose of this is to decrease the torque and to have a very small actuator. So now you see on the screen the different seat executions that you can provide. We have actually five different seat executions. Uh, KS1 and KS1A are two soft seated uh, seat executions. The difference is that KS1A is provided with hard chromium on the ball sector and can be used for slightly polluted liquid and gases. Seat execution 1B and 1C are both solid slat seat, but the only difference is that the seat holding wing on the seat execution 1C is hard chrome. So seat executions 1B and 1C can be used for abrasive media applications, but 1C can be used with higher content of solids when you have a risk of cavitations, for example. Then comes model 1E. So this is a unique design actually that you can provide. Uh, it's uh, like the model 1C, but the seat, as you can see on the screen, will go over the seat holding ring and protect the seat holding ring. It means that it can handle very abrasive applications. Uh, actually, it has always been used to replace other valves that failed, uh, even metal seated segmented valves. So this is the most robust solution that we can provide and typically are used for service application 
when you have a high content of particles, fibers, and or when you have a risk of cavitations. So then in addition to all of this, we have two other models, KSG, which is uh, the rubber line design, uh, as you can see on the screen. So this is a ball sector valve with a natural rubber, uh, which is uh, lying on the ball sector and in the body. So this is used for abrasive application, of course, uh, because then the solid particles will bounce on the natural rubber. And then you have the KSP, uh, design so model so the P stands for packing box so in this case the packing box will replace the O-rings for the leakage to the atmosphere. So that's it for the presentation of the board sector valve. Uh, I hope it was interesting for you and if you have any question just do not hesitate to contact us.